Democrats on defense tonight, fighting to hold on to power in some unlikely battlegrounds, like New York, where the governor's race between Democratic incumbent Kathy Hochul and Republican challenger Lee Zeldin has tightened. First Lady Jill Biden campaigning for her Sunday, days after the president traveled there, while Florida's Republican governor and 2024 hopeful Ron DeSantis rallied for Congressman Zeldin Saturday. Are you ready to save New York State? Beyond statewide office, New York Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, responsible for keeping key Democratic House seats, locked in a tight contest himself. Don't punish the people who are fixing your problems and don't reward the people who are trying to exploit the problems for their own political power. Democrats also under pressure to maintain governor's mansions in two traditionally blue states. Hello, Oregon. Oregon, where President Biden campaigned earlier this month, and New Mexico, where he'll go this week, joined on the trail by his one-time running mate, former President Obama. Democracy is at stake in this election. Working to boost enthusiasm in critical battlegrounds like Michigan and Wisconsin this weekend, where incumbent Democratic governors are trying to hold on. And with just days to go, Democrats eyeing ruby red Oklahoma as a possible pickup as that gubernatorial race becomes newly competitive, with major issues like abortion access on the line all part of the president's closing pitch in this home stretch. So I'm going to be spending the rest of the time making the case that this is not a referendum. It's a choice, a fundamental choice, a choice between two very different visions for the country. And Monica's with me now. Monica, there's a big debate in Georgia tonight. That's right. Republican incumbent Governor Brian Kemp facing off with Democrat Stacey Abrams in that rematch to lead the Peach State, where early voting is already in full swing. Kate, Monica. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.